Dimensions for the guide block are as follows. A one and three quarter inch wide by two inches high. So I've marked that off here for clarity on each of the uh, blanks. Next we rough dimension the uh, for the one and three quarter width with a resaw, it's a resaw fence. So my, my feed speed is kind of slow because of the uh, hardness of the maple. I want to ensure a, a straight cut. So I performed this operation for both blanks with the fence set to So I've already centered the groove in the blank. It's important to do so before continuing with the cuts. And then I run the uh, blanks through with uh, four, uh, to create four grooves to another side of each blank. So the idea is to perform four passes, two on each blank, and then raise the, uh, the router bit every so slightly until you've reached the quarter inch mark. I'm just doing multiple passes. I flip the boards. In this segment, I'm actually showing a close up of the markings with, along with the length of each of the guide blocks at 8 inches and that common 67 and a half degree area I mentioned with the double grooves. So the length is 8 inches for these particular guide blocks. I supply CAD drawings that are identical to the guide blocks I'm creating in the, in the course. Not necessary to have a second cut done to get for each of the guide blocks. So next we cut the 45 degree end of the guide blocks on a table saw using a miter gauge set of So I've set my uh, fence to 45 degrees and my hands are well away from the saw blade, which uh, is one of the advantages of having a longer blank. So I'm doing the first cut, and this would be the actual end of one of the guide blocks at 45 degrees. I tend to shut off the saw and uh, to remove the saw off cut on each of the uh, cuts. We're doing the second blank here at the same angle. So if you're doing this in production mode, you would want to set up your machines once and do multiples and just create multiple cuts. Thank <laughs> you. 